Good afternoon, and thank you, Dean Anderson, and what an honor to be here at this great university that uh, has been made even more famous as the house that Joe Pa built. Uh, I understand that Coach Paterno prepares his game plans while listening to operas. And I'm now an opera director, and so I must confess that I prepare my opera productions while watching football games. <laughs> Very often the two get confused in my operas and see a lot of singers doing this, and uh, so I, I have to be a little careful about that. Uh, but as um, the dean mentioned, uh, there is a connection between The Exorcist and Coach Paterno, because he did go to Brooklyn Prep with the author of The Exorcist. And Bill Blatty uh, told me a story recently about the coach uh, who was the quarterback of the Brooklyn Prep football team. And one day uh, they were playing a game against St. Cecilia's in New Jersey, and uh, the coach had broken his left arm. Uh, but he, he had it um, numbed and tied off, and he played the entire game on offense and defense with a broken arm. And in those days, they used to play, you know, without a huddle. they just play off audible commands at the line of scrimmage. But um, they lost that game. I wouldn't have mentioned that had the coach been here today. But they, they lost it narrowly to St. Cecilia's. Uh, I'd like to thank the Alumni Association for sending me uh, a great many uh, issues, uh, past issues of um, the Penn Stater. I think I have uh, more back editions of the Penn Stater than the Paterno Library out there. So if they ever need to borrow any, you, you guys know where to come. And I'd also like to thank you for uh, the association for sending me a, a brochure uh, about President Spanier. And I, I now know everything I always wanted to know about President Spanier, but was afraid to ask. Uh, I know that he's a pretty good juggler and that he gave a, uh, uh, a memorable performance in the uh, uh, School of Theater production of Good News last year. So it's, it's always good, President Spanier, to have something to fall back on. And so congratulations on that. And congratulations to all of you who have, who have made it. I know that you realize what a tremendous honor it is uh, and what an achievement to graduate from uh, a, a school as renowned as Penn State University is. And the School of Communications is, of course, very well named. I never had the opportunity to attend college. I went right from high school uh, into a television station where I started in the mailroom and worked my way up. But the one lesson that I learned was that it's all about communication. Um, th there are very few similarities between directing a television show or a movie or an opera. But the one constant is the need to be able to communicate. Um, because you have to, as a director, for example, work through uh, others. You work through first the cast and the crew so that you can communicate your ideas and visions to an audience. And so uh, those of you who are now entering this profession uh, are coming in at a time of major paradigm shifts and um, a constantly shifting zeitgeist. Everything is in transition now in the field of communications. And it's all about to be reinvented again. Uh, you'd be surprised how few people now working in communications are aware of what's to come. Uh, newspapers and magazines are losing circulations and advertising. Uh, the great publishing empires are cutting back or being sold. 
and uh, some of us still enjoy the tactile sensation of holding a newspaper or a magazine in our hands, but it's about at least a day behind the Drudge Report. Uh, so um, free network television is still dependent on advertising, um, and, but it's facing greater competition now from cable. And so the advertising dollars have been following this shift. Uh, online sources like Google and YouTube and Yahoo uh, are thriving, and it's all happened faster than any of us thought that it ever would. Uh, it was the bloggers who brought down Dan Rather, uh, and the bloggers who now shape political debate. Uh, it's no longer possible to go out and make a speech somewhere uh, in a little room somewhere and then later deny that you ever said those things. Uh, Senator Obama's uh, comments about the voters of Pennsylvania uh, that bounced around the world uh, was made in what I happen to know is a very small living room in San Francisco. And um, uh, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, I hope you won't repeat it too much, but my wife and I arrived uh, a little over an hour ago uh, at uh, University Park Airport under sniper fire. Uh, but I, I don't want that to get around too much, you know. I hope there's nobody out there with a cell phone on this, because I don't think I can defend that. Um, it was a Chinese student uh, hiding under his desk at Sichuan University who uh, reported on the spot online news of the recent Chinese earthquake. He was heard yelling over his website, go online, tell others. Uh, until recently, the Chinese government suppressed all news of its disasters. And now that's no longer possible because of the new journalism. With, with the coming of real time and uh, on the scene reporting, of course, comes uh, rumors and outright, outright lies. And over time, Americans have learned not to depend too much uh, on what they read in the papers or what they see on television anymore. Uh, will we be able to rely on the Internet? That's going to be up to you, I'm sure uh, many of you. The responsibility um, on all of you entering the field of advertising, publicity, telecommunications, uh, has never been greater. What few standards are left in the old paradigm are rapidly, completely disappearing in the new. When I started directing television and motion pictures in the 1960s, independent distribution was impossible. Uh, you had to distribute your film either through one of the five major studios or one of the three networks, or possibly public broadcasting, but that was it. And you needed to go out and rent enormous equipment, lighting, sound, uh, camera equipment, and hire sizable crews to be able to, to make a film. Today, of course, you can go in to a, a a store, an electronics store, even a drug store, and buy a little digital camera and go out and make your own film and then edit it on your website, on your computer, and there will be thousands of outlets all over the world where it's possible that it will be seen. So with the coming of this new technology also comes the need for new ideas and new techniques. And that's where you guys come in. 
uh, you have the opportunity to redefine communications. What a great time it is to enter this field. I'll be very honest with you. Frankly, I wish I was out there today instead of up here in terms of the opportunities to make it all fresh, make it all new, and put aside all of the ancient shibboleths that guided all of us when we first came into the business. So you should all be thankful, I think, that you didn't drop out to pursue a career on the World Poker Tour. And may you all achieve your dreams, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.